Welcome to this feel good vinyasa flow. Gently make your way into reclined butterfly, lowering your back down to the mat, soles of your feet together and allow your knees to open. Placing your open palms at the base of your thighs or you can bring your palms down onto your heart. Close your eyes and begin by taking a deep breath in, filling your lungs. And exhale. Let's do that again. Another deep breath in, fill your lungs. As you exhale, try to release any tension you may be holding. Any stress or worries, let's just take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, just imagine releasing them all. Keep these deep breaths going. Stay connected to your in and exhale. On your next inhalation, engage your core and bring your knees together, drawing the knees upward. Then extend both of your legs straight up and draw your toes down towards you. Then drop both those knees down, taking the outer side of each foot and coming into happy baby. Taking a few more rounds of deep breath, just relaxing into the pose. With your eyes closed and bring your attention back to the breath. Deep and slow breathing here. Release your feet, bring your legs together and begin to rock forwards and backwards. Leaning forwards into the first roll and then roll back. This time coming all the way up, dropping the soles of your feet down. Bring your hands down behind you and lift through the hips, drop your head back. Taking this extended version of bridge pose, lift your hips up as high as you can. Let's all take one last deep inhale and as you exhale, gently release your bum down to the ground, extending your legs forwards in front of you. Inhale, extend both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, drop your hands down by your side. Bring your legs in, crossing at the ankle. Reach forward and tuck your legs under your body. Moving our way into our first downward facing dog. Slowly begin to straighten the legs and draw your heels downward. Make sure your neck is nice and relaxed. Push out through that hand to floor connection and push back into those hips. Let's all take a deep breath in together. As you exhale, roll out through the spine, coming into high plank. Rock your hips from left to right. And then push back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, rolling out to high plank, again rocking the hips from left to right. and push back to downward facing dog. 
and roll the body out, moving into your chaturanga, coming down on the exhale, inhale to upward facing dog, and exhale, pushing back to downward facing dog. Now begin to slowly step your way up the central line of your yoga mat up to the front, making your way into a forward fold. Relax and release here. Allow your upper body to hang heavy. To go even deeper here, you can turn your palms facing upward and slide them underneath your feet. You can then pull your body even closer to your legs. Let's take one round of deep breath here. On your next inhale, let's release the hands and roll up to stand up. Extend your arms above the head and then draw your hands in prayer down to the heart. Let's take another inhale, extending those arms in prayer back behind you, taking a gentle back bend. Exhale, move your way into chair pose, bending deep into those knees, extending forwards through the arms and looking towards your hands and release forward fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen. Exhale, jump to high plank and move through your chaturanga, keeping your elbows close to the body. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale, push back to downward facing dog. We're going to pick up the pace just a little bit now. Inhale, step your right leg up to the front. Drop your back heel, warrior one. Extend up through the arms. Release hands down, step back to high plank and chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale push back to downward facing dog and now the other side. Inhale step your left foot up to the front drop your back right heel down. Warrior one extend up through the upper body taking a deep breath in. Exhale release drop your hands down by your front foot step back high plank and chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, push back downward facing dog. After a couple of deep breaths, we're going to run through this sequence again. Looking towards the hands, bend deeply into the knees and take a jump to the front. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair, leaning back into those hips. And release, come back to standing, hands in prayer at the heart. Taking a brief moment just to connect with yourself and ground. Inhale, rolling through the body, take a gentle back bend, core engaged. Exhale, release, coming to forward fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen. Exhale, jump to high plank and move through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward with your left foot and drop that back right heel. Extend up to warrior one. Exhale, release. Drop those hands down by your front foot and move your way back to high plank. Coming through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Other side, step up with your right foot, drop your left heel down, inhale as you extend up to warrior one. Exhale, release, drop your hands down by your front foot, step back to high plank and move through your chaturanga, inhale to upward facing dog and exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Let's just pause here in our downward facing dog, connecting to the breath. 
Release and relax into this pose, dropping your heels down to the ground. Bending into those knees and looking to the front, we're going to take another jump to the hands. Inhale to halfway lengthen. Exhale to forward fold. Lift up and extend just for a breath and then come into chair pose. Release your weight into those hips and heels. And release, coming back to a standing position. Opening your palms into mountain and then extend your arms up towards the sky and release. Slowly lowering your arms back down to your side. Inhale, lift your right leg and extend that leg. And release, bringing that right leg back behind you and coming into half moon, dropping that left hand down. Hips and shoulders stacked here. Core tightly engaged for balance and control. And release, dropping that right hand down, squaring off your hips and coming to forward fold. Releasing all your weight into those hips and leaning back. Option here to interlace your hands behind the back and allow your arms to hang heavy. Opening and moving into the shoulders. And release, coming into a chair pose. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release, moving into forward fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen. Exhale, jump back to high plank, moving through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, push back downward facing dog. Inhale, stepping your right foot up to the front in between your hands, dropping your left heel down and coming into warrior one. Let's just hold for a deep breath. And then release, bringing your hands back down, stepping back to high plank and moving through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog, closing your eyes and enjoying a couple of rounds of deep breath. Looking to your hands, bending into your knees and taking a hop to the front. Inhale to halfway lengthen and exhale to forward fold. Inhale as you roll up to stand up, keeping your core engaged and dropping those arms back behind you for a gentle back bend. Keep those hands in prayer and draw them down to the chest, lifting the left leg, extending and hold. And release. Bring those right fingertips down, coming into half moon. Left leg extended back, hips stacked, shoulders stacked. Core engaged and focus on your breathing. Let's release, dropping those left fingertips down and squaring off the hips, coming back into a forward fold. Releasing your weight back into your heels and hips. Neck is relaxed. Now we are going to hop the feet apart just enough to come into a yoga squat. Holding your hands in prayer and let's just hold this for a couple of rounds of deep breath. Dropping your hands down in front of you and straightening through the legs. Inhale to halfway lengthen. And exhale, jumping back to high plank and moving through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back to child's pose. Deep, slow breaths here. Gently filling and emptying your lungs with every in and exhale, releasing any tension, 
any stress, anything you may be holding on to that is not serving you. Just let it all go. On your next inhale, bring your hips above your knees. Stretch forwards through the upper body and come into puppy pose. Depending on where you are at, there are a couple of options here. You can bring your chest and chin down as I am doing or just the forehead as I am now also doing. I will leave that choice to you. Let's just take a few rounds of deep breath here. Now we are going to release. Press your strength into the palms of your hands, lifting your chest and shoulders up. Step one hand in, then the other, and then push your way back into a wide knee child's pose. Turning your head to the left side. Close your eyes and let's just enjoy a couple of rounds of deep breath here. Now gently lift and turn your head to the left side. Now bring your head back to center and let's move our weight forward and onto our elbows. We are coming into a sphinx pose. Keep your elbows close to the body, directly underneath your shoulder blades. Just looking forward and keeping a neutral spine. And release, bringing your forehead down onto your palms option here to release the lower back by gently rocking your hips from side to side. Now lifting up through the left knee, bringing your left knee in line with your hips. Let's just relax here and breathe for a few rounds of breath. Now release, straightening back through that left leg and bringing the right knee up in line with your hip. Same stretch on the other side. Again, just closing your eyes, releasing the body into this stretch and relaxing as best you can. Now straighten back through the right leg, bringing your legs together. Bring your hands, palms down by your side. From here, you can lift up and release. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is truly such an honor that you choose to practice with me. If you enjoyed the class, subscribe now. This really helps the channel and helps others to find these classes too. Wishing you a beautiful day. Namaste.